Hey everybody, Kylie Cologne, Silver Premier Team Leader for Team Forever Posh. And today I'm here to talk to you about hostess coaching and expectations. So having hostess coaching for Facebook parties and home parties are equally important, right? But today we're going to focus on Facebook party hostess coaching. Um, so your hostess has come from all over the place, right? You may have a hostess who is the Facebook party queen. She's hosted parties for every direct sales company out there. Um, she knows what to expect. She knows what she's doing. Um, and she is ready to go. Or you may have a Facebook party virgin. Maybe she's never done a Facebook party before. Maybe this is her first time hostessing a Facebook party, okay? So either way, whether you have the Facebook party queen or you have the Facebook party virgin, you as the consultant need to go ahead and make sure that you have set up expectations with your hostess. Because if you don't, you could end up very frustrated, you could end up very disappointed, or maybe a little bit of both with your Facebook party outcome. Because our hostesses play such an important role in the success of our Facebook parties. So today I'm going to give you six, six things um, to do when you're preparing your hostess for your upcoming Facebook party, okay? So you've already booked a date, you've already booked a time, um, you have already decided this is gonna be on Facebook, you've already determined whether this is gonna be paired with a portable party or if this is gonna just be strictly Facebook, no samples involved, okay? Because we can do them both ways. The first thing that you wanna do is thank your hostess. She has agreed to do a Facebook party for you. She has agreed to take time out of her life to do this Facebook party. Yes, she's going to earn perks for it, but she's also doing you a favor um, by helping you with your business. So you want to be sure that you thank her, appreciate her, let her know how much you appreciate her hostessing this party for you. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, you want to let her know what does she get? What benefit does she get from hostessing a party with you? Um, does she get perks? Yes. How many perks does she get? Let her know that she gets 6% perks up to a party of $199. She gets 10% perks if her party reaches over $200. And if her party reaches $400 or above, she gets a hostess exclusive gift. Now, if you're doing any kind of incentive outside of that, of course you want to let her know that at that time as well. So let her know what she gets for hostessing and giving you her time. Okay, number three, you want to tell her what you expect from her. And this is the biggest one. If you don't take anything else away from this video today, I hope that you will listen to number three because it is the most important. She needs to know what you expect from her. Okay, so if you are putting out some kind of a hostess incentive, you need to let her know that. You need to let her know that she needs to have a loud voice in your party. And what I mean by that is that she is engaging with your posts. She's not just liking the posts. She's commenting on the posts. If there's a product that you're talking about in the party, you want her to know that it's okay for her to tag somebody that she thinks would really like that. You want her to post in the party too. You want her to, to um, give product reviews, things that she's tried and loved because you know what? Her friends are going to believe her way more than they're going to believe you. So if she's raving about BFF, they're going to listen to her way more than they're going to listen to you talk about how much you love BFF, right? So encourage your hostess um, to be loud and let her know that you expect that of her. Um, you want to know or you want your hostess to know, you want her to know that um, how you would like for her to invite people. Do you want her to send a mass message to 250 friends on her friends list? No, you don't. Sorry. Um, you don't want her to do that, right? You want her to private message people. You want her to personally invite people um, face to face even. Uh, you want her to text people to invite them, right? So we want to keep it small and we want to keep it quaint so that it's more of a pampering experience for those that are attending. Think about it. When you go to a party online, a Facebook party, and you're invited, um, maybe you're invited and you, number one, you weren't even asked if you wanted to come. How does that make you feel? Number two, if you were invited and you see there's a thousand people going, does that make you feel very special? No. So you want to let your hostess know that you expect her to invite 50 or less people to keep it more intimate. If you want to bump that number up and down a little bit, that's okay. Um, but you, the idea is to give her hostess or her guests a pampering experience, right? And so we do that by keeping, keeping it smaller. 
Um, she's going to private and individually message them. You can even give her a for instance of what she could say in that private message so that she's not, you know, coming out of nowhere with this thing. Um, give her an idea of what she can say, what she can send to people. Um, and then let her know that once they've accepted the, that invitation to go ahead and invite them to the event. Um, you want her want to let her know if this is a portable party, you want to let her know that you expect her to hand the samples that you've sent to her out to the people that she thinks is most interested in Perfectly Posh. You don't want her to just hand them out to random people that maybe not even go home and try the products, right? You want those samples to get on people. So you want to let her know that you expect her to hand those samples out to the the top people that she expects to either love Perfectly Posh or want to learn more about it. Okay, um, number four, you want to tell her what she can expect from you. How long is the party going to be? Are you going to party for one night for 30 to 45 minutes? Or is this going to be um, a little bit of a longer party? How long is her party link going to be open for? Um, what kind of posts are you going to post? Are you just going to talk about products? Are you going to do any videos? Um, what kind of posts can she expect? How often are you going to post? Are you going to post once a day for so many days and then post, um, you know, for 30 minutes straight one night? How are you going to run your Facebook party? Are you going to do a live video? Let her know so that she can let her guests know ahead of time, hey, if you can't pop on at 9 o'clock when the party starts, be sure to pop on at 9.30 because she's going to go live and you can ask questions right then and there. Um, do you do a product drawing for your guests? So if, if she has guests come and place an order, do they all go into a draw? What do the guests get? Do they get something for, from you? Do you do a drawing for a chunk or a hand cream or a lip balm or an all mixed up? Um, so let her know all of those things. Let her know what to expect from you as her consultant. Uh, number five, you want to keep her in the loop. I can't tell you how many Facebook parties I've gone to over the years for other direct sales companies as their hostess, and I have no clue how much the party has made, how, how much my friends have purchased. I have no clue where I am in the hostess incentive tier or anything. Keep her informed. It's so important. She's going to be way more involved if you're telling her, hey, Susie ordered and Charlie ordered and Megan ordered and Sally ordered and, um, you know, Juanita ordered. All of these people ordered, okay? And your party is at $400 right now. Do you know what that means? That means you get a hostess exclusive gift on top of your 10% perks that you're going to earn. That's already $40 worth of perks that you've earned plus an exclusive product. You want to keep her involved. Keep her in the loop. Let her know who's ordered, what dollar amount her party is at, how close is she to 10% perks. If that party hasn't quite hit $200, what size of an order does she need to get there? Maybe she knows somebody who's going to be placing an order, um, and she can talk to her friends. How close is she to that $400 and that hostess exclusive? Again, let her know who's ordered um, and how close that she is to that next bump. How many perks is she going to earn? Let her know, hey, if she's at a $400 party, that's 4,000 perks, right? That's $40 worth of perks. Um, and then when everything is done and the party is ended, you want to let her know how to spend those perks, how to get that hostess exclusive. So you want to keep her in the loop. And last but definitely not least, number six, you want to thank her again. Um, being in the business that we are in, customer service is number one. And if we're not providing excellent customer service for our customers and our hostesses, they're not going to come back to us. So we want to be sure that we are thanking them, thanking them, thanking them, because they are what keeps our business going, okay? So be appreciative. Thank her again. Let her know if she has any questions while she's shopping um, to spend her perks that she can message you or call you or get in touch with you however she needs to, um, that you will be happy to help her with that. So I hope that helps you guys uh, with hostess coaching. If you have any questions, you can always message me, but I hope you guys have a good day. Bye.